If for any reason that you require to remove a user's access rights, this can also be done simply in the software. As you can see currently, this wristband belonging to Sean O'Brien in the cleaner category currently unlocks the lock. If you wish to remove Sean's access, for instance, if the fob has become lost, you can simply go into the software. You can double click on that user's name on the lock and system matrix, and you can go with deactivate. So this can be seen here on the right. Once you click deactivate, it will ask you, are you sure that you wish to block that user? If you click yes, you then give the reason that that transponder or that fob has been lost. You can type that in here. And once you hit yes, it will then ask you if you want to create a replacement. So we're going to create a replacement card for Sean in this instance. So we hit yes, and then it has told you that that now has been assigned to the matrix. So in the matrix, you will see that the old last fob has shown as red, and now it has issued you a programming command to create the new one. So you present the new card onto the programming device, you hit program, and you click the programming tab. This should program the new card. And once it shows successful, that is now correctly programmed. And when we present this new card to the lock, this new card has told the old lock now that the old card is no longer to work. So once you present the old one, you can see there that the lock indicates it is not going to unlock for the old fob which is lost. And that is how you successfully remove a user's access rights in the software.